after trying to understand the upangas of the yama now we shall try to understand the sutras connected to the niyama what are the benefits or signs of practice of niyama the sutra number 40 and 41 these two sutras deal with the shauca the first upanga of the niyam the 40 sutra number 40 is shauchat swang jugupsa parair samsargah shauchat swang jugupsa parair samsargah shauchat the result of shaucha observance of shaucha cleanliness by the practice of cleanliness shaucat sva anga sva is one's own anga is body one's own body jugupsa disgust paraihi others a samsargah a samsargah disinclination to physically contacting not interested not inclined in touching others how beautiful word it is asam sarga parai rasam sarga and sva anga jugupsa symbols to benefits to results or to purposes of the practice of shaucha is given the two signs of practice of shaucha by the practice of shaucha one develops disgust on one's own body and disinclined not interested and refuses towards touched by others or in touching others the physical body contact parair samsarga so two benefits two results shaucha brings that shaucha is cleanliness and the next sutra of course is also handles with the with the shaucha so generally it is said that this first sutra is the physical bodily and the second sutra is connected to the mental the psychological internal manasika manas shaucha or anta shaucha and this is bahya or sharir ki socha and this parai rasam sarga comes out because one by cleaning oneself and understanding the so much of dirt in the body so much of crudeness in the body the condition of the body full of sapta dhatus and a lot of wastage the muscles the blood the pus the urine the mala the mutra and the various bones and the various activities going on inside and if you really see our own body inside or anybody's body inside 
it is so fearful so disgusting and all the skeleton inside and all the flesh the bones the secretions excretions the whole body is a full of mala and lot of explanations we can have lot of understanding can be there and the dirty body if we don't take bath for a day or two smells and if one or two days the food is not digested properly the foul smell comes from the mouth indigestion and regularly the dust and the dust is excreted through the eyes through the nose through the ears through the skin in the form of sweat and the whole body has as if so much of dirt so much of dust unclean impure like a dustbin and a drainage but funnily surprisingly we have an attachment to it we like it we maintain it and we clean it and we have to keep it clean we have seen earlier the fact that we have to keep it clean itself shows that it is full of dirt the fact it needs to be maintained shows that it is impure in one beautiful shloka shankaracharya wonderfully says that the whole body is a molding of flesh and blood nothing special in this no need to have any moha towards it and really if you see our body inside we develop a sense of jugupsa towards it and that's why especially a dead body a post mortem body is fearful fearsome and that is how this jugupsa comes out of shaucham a sense of detachment towards the body a sense of disinterestedness in maintaining the beauty of the body our attachment in beautifying the body our attachment towards beauty care our attachment towards presenting our body has a presentable object that interest will be lost jugupsa comes and once this jugupsa on the body comes understands parayara samsarga other body also is like that and coming in touch with that dart coming in touch with the other dart and once he maintains his cleanliness purity coming in touch with the unclean body coming in touch with the dirty body coming in touch with the ashocha body ashuddha sharira that will be avoided exactly this is the meaning of the sutra shauja swanga jugupsa parai rasam sarga that's why in our culture in our tradition when the body or the hands are sanitized clean hands 
not to touch unclean things unclean body anything which is not clean dust and dirt and if any dust and dirt were touched with the hands it is to be cleaned oh there are hundreds of shauchan niyamas are there rules of maintaining cleanliness washing the hands and legs when we enter into our room from outside not to take any food everywhere and anywhere not to drink any water anywhere and everywhere not to mix with people anywhere and anywhere whatever types and wherever we go to meet a sick person sick people deceased people you return back to the home and maintain a shausha all these rules and regulations are formulated for the maintenance of the cleanliness of the body and this physical cleanliness is very very important and by that these two results and these two important dimensions phala fruits are explained one fruit one result is jugupsa swanga jugupsa and other is parairasam sargaha not interested not disinclined to touch the other body see how best it is useful for the practice of brahmacharya and not to touch not only inappropriately even appropriately that is importance of the practice of shaucha very much relevant very much necessary and very much needed and most important to maintain cleanliness and to allow others to be clean and neat let us see the other sutra about the internal manasik shaucha 40 first sutra om shanti shanti shanti